Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing my current 2020 desk setup. Now, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Justin Che. I'm going to be a rising sophomore at Princeton University, but I also make videos on the side. And yeah, this is, you know, my current home desk room setup. Now, I know a lot of people have different preferences for how they set up their workspace, but this is just what I found works best for me as both a student and a content creator. Now, there's a lot of products that I'm really excited to share with you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, arguably one of the most important items in a desk setup is obviously the desk itself. So the awesome people over at FlexiSpot actually sent over the desk that you see behind me. So this is their standing desk frame, the EN1 with the 48 by 30 maple desktop. And the really cool thing about this desk is it actually has a programmable keypad and display. And it basically lets you set three different preset heights. So I actually have the first button set to this current position right now that you see behind me, the sitting position. Now the second one I set to my standing position and the third one is for when I wanna use a stool. Um, and so it's kind of like an in-between position. So I actually tend to be a pretty fidgety person. And so having the option to stand every once in a while is super great. Plus I used to actually get a lot of back pain just from sitting around all day long, especially this past summer. And so having the option to stand, you know, every 20, 30 minutes is super great and actually helps alleviate a lot of pain from my back. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably working from home this upcoming semester, whether you know, you're a student or you're actually working remotely from home. And so if you are in that position and you have the financial means, I would definitely recommend looking into standing desks. Now this one from FlexiSpot retails for around $300 right now and is a really good entry level standing desk. Now they sent this over to me, but they haven't paid me to say anything. And so they just asked me to check it out and review it if I enjoyed it. And so I have really enjoyed this one. So if you are looking into one, then maybe check out FlexiSpot if you want. I'll leave a link in the description down below for this desk here. So up next is my laptop and my laptop riser. So this here is my 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch. And so this has 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of internal storage, and has worked great for me this past year for all my video editing, my schoolwork, and just general media consumption. And so that, when it's on the desk, is docked on this laptop stand from Boyata. Basically, this is just a solid aluminum stand. It has these two hinges here, and so it's super convenient because it basically just gives me a ton of flexibility in terms of like how I view my laptop. And so um, basically, I can move this here and it just gives me a huge range of options. And so the reason why I chose this one over other laptop stands is because of the fact that this has multiple angles, whereas other ones are normally like fixed angle stands. And so whenever I'm not actually using my laptop on this, I can also use it to prop up my iPad or just any other books that I have. So it's really convenient and it has multiple uses. So I feel like the price is definitely justified for it. It's one of those things where you don't realize you need it until you don't have it anymore. So up next is the actual monitor itself. And so this is the LG 27UD68 4K monitor. And so I've been using it for a couple months now and it's been absolutely awesome. Now, the way that I kind of use it is that I have the main display for any work that I'm you know, currently working on. And then I use the laptop as a secondary display. And so usually I'll have either the messages app or the Spotify app open on there. So if I wanna either send a text to a friend or if I just wanna change a song super quickly, then I can do that on the side and then go back to the main work on the actual monitor itself. And so I actually have a late 2012 Mac mini also hooked up to the display as well. And so if I need to run something that involves Windows, then I have the Mac mini bootcamp with Windows. And so I can go through there and, you know, run any like the video games that I want to run or, you know, some engineering software that isn't available on Mac. And I can just go through the Mac mini and do it through there. So it's super convenient having both options. So up next is the desk shelf that you see behind me. So this is made from a company called Grovemade and they're based in Portland, Oregon and they hand make these insanely high quality goods. So I've actually been wanting to work with Grovemade for a while now. So I actually sent them an email saying along the lines of, hey, I'm really interested in you guys. I love what you guys are doing. Um, would you guys wanna work together? And so they were super nice. They got back to me and they actually sent over a few products that you'll see throughout this video. So definitely would recommend checking them out. But back to the desk shelf, this is made from walnut, aluminum, and cork. And it has these two shelves off to the side. And so I use the top shelf to store my Mac mini as well as a Raspberry Pi. 
And then on the bottom shelf, that's actually where I use the Grove Made desk tray. And so it basically just pulls out and then I put a lot of like the knickknacks that I use super often, but I don't need all the time. And so it's really nice having it within arm's reach. I can just pull it out, take whatever I need and then push it back in. And it's just really nice because it has that like internal organization. Um, so I can, you know, separate my goods and then hide them away when I don't need them. So next up is my keyboard and mouse. So this here is the Apple wireless keyboard as well as the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. And if I'm being honest, this mouse has been an absolute game changer for me. And so the reason why I like it so much is that you can download the Logi Options software and it basically allows you to remap any of the buttons on this mouse to anything else. And so one of my favorite remappings is uh, there's like a scroll, like a side scroll option here. And so the, the main way that I use that is for changing the desktop spaces on my Mac. And so basically um, I can go left and right between and just choose between like my favorite apps. And it's just super convenient having that option. And I also have media controls mapped onto the mouse as well. So I can play and pause, you know, Spotify, YouTube, Netflix without even having to lift my hand from the mouse. So it's really convenient. It's absolutely awesome. And I would highly recommend it to anyone. Also, let me know what you guys think about keyboards and mice in the comments down below. Do you guys prefer mechanical keyboards or non-mechanical keyboards? And like, do you guys put that much you know, thought into your mice? Uh, I'm curious to see what, what other people think. So just let me know. Also, in case any of you guys were wondering, the keyboard and mouse actually sit on this desk pad from Grovemade. And so this basically just gives me a place to you know, put my keyboard and mouse. And it's really convenient because it's sized perfectly to fit with the Grove Made desk shelf. So I can put my keyboard and mouse on here and then just slide it under that, that bottom shelf area. And it just completely hides away when I don't want to use it. But when I do need it, I can just slide it back out and then it's you know in a perfect position for me. Now, moving on to the more miscellaneous items that you guys see on the desk, the lamps behind me are actually from Ikea and inside are Philips Hue bulbs. And so the really cool thing about these bulbs is that you can change both the temperature and the color. And so I usually set the temperature to a bit of a cooler side um, in the mornings or afternoons, but then whenever it gets closer to night, when I'm about to go to bed, I like to set it to a bit of a warmer temperature just so I can sleep a little bit better. And so you can also change the color of the bulbs within the Philips Hue app. And you also have the option to get software on your computer and it basically syncs up the bulbs with the audio of you know your computer as well as like the, the visuals too and so this is pretty cool whenever you're trying to watch movies or netflix or i don't know like watching a music video but for me personally i don't like to use it too much just because it can be a bit distracting but overall it is a really cool feature to have on the side i just don't use it too often so the speakers that i use i've actually had for i don't know like almost eight years now and so they're from a company called case logic you know they're not insanely spectacular or anything they just plug directly into the monitor and they work fine for me i mainly just use these speakers for when i'm watching youtube or whenever i'm you know trying to watch netflix or other stuff like that like i don't, I don't need you know super great audio quality just because i use like headphones whenever i'm editing videos and stuff like that so i mean these speakers work fine for me so whenever I do choose to listen to music, normally I just have it sync up to my Amazon Echo. So it's really great because it fills up the entire room and it's also really versatile because I use it for my alarm, any timers, or just for any like general reminders. So it's super convenient. It just sits at the corner of my desk um, and it's just nice to have. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my 2020 desk setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found some inspiration for your own home desk setups. Now, I know a lot of us are gonna be working from home for either the next you know, month, semester, or even the next entire year. So hopefully you can make your own desk setups and make the most of the situation. If you guys have any questions about any of the items that you saw in this video, just leave it in a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe because that would really help me out a ton. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.